Hey, I'm Cher. Welcome to Readings. If you like the way I read, please like, share, and subscribe. Welcome new subscribers. Nice to have you in the room. Okay, as requested, Scorpio. Scorpster. Scorpio. Okay, but before we go, let's pull a spiritual card for you. Eckhart Tolle, A New Earth. Let's see what spirit is pulling for you today. Think about this, okay? Spirit has picked a card. I need my magic wand. Mm -hmm. Got my magic wand. Let's go. Unless you know the basic mechanics behind the workings of the ego, you won't recognize it, and it will trick you into identifying with it again and again. This means it takes you over, an imposter pretending to be you. Picked it before, but still a very, very good message. You can look down in the description box below for it. Cards are dropping everywhere. Okay, so, uh, Scorp, what's going on? Let's give him a break. Let's give them a break. Scorpio. Got things happening here. Get in there. Okay. All right. Scorpio. Scorpio. Let's go. Let's get her on. And let's get her done. Scorpio. Let's get a reading done here for you today. New beginnings. Taking the leap. Where are you going? Where are you going, Scorp? Standing at the crossroads. New beginnings, taking the leap, taking the other path, are we? Not going back, taking a new path? New beginnings, taking the leap. So far, so good. Wow. wow. Oh my God, Scorpio. All right, been reading it for a while. Reading it again. Ten of Cups and the wheel is moving. My God. Ten of Cups. Real estate card. House. Home. Joy. Happiness. Love. Everything right there. The next card up would be the Sun card. And the wheel moving you in that direction. Taking the leap into something really, really, really good. With the moon card, what? The moon card and the tower. Didn't see the tower? What's going on here? Someone left you out in the cold? Our spirit's speaking like crazy. Left out in the cold. Didn't see the tower coming in, but the tower did come in. But spirit is screaming here. That this is Scorpios that are looking back and saying, Why didn't I see what was happening when I went in that tower? This is Scorpio saying, I went into a tower for what? Why did I go into the tower? What wasn't it that I wasn't seeing? How could I have been so blind that I went into a tower when somebody left? How could I have been so blind? Making judgment calls now. Something is on its way. Look out. Okay, we're starting off really, really good. Now starting to see why did I go into the tower when somebody left? What was it that I wasn't seeing? Making judgment calls, using intuition, putting up some healthy boundaries. Someone is on the way. When judgment blares its mighty trumpet, something rises. And isn't it always a way when blessings come our way? This is sudden blessings. A winning or something that you've been expecting in the mail Something that you've been waiting day by day to come into your bank account. 
Well. All right, squat. Now you got two. And I've been reading that for a while, too. So something rises. And it is very, very quickly ended. It is very quickly dealt with. Done. Painful ending. Then we got the Eight of Swords all up in the head. Feeling unable to move again. Somebody came, must have said things, hurtful maybe. And now all wrapped up in your head, believing it. So what didn't you see about this tower? What didn't you see? Did you not see that maybe someone who left you in the past is on their way back only to cause more pain, more up in the head? It's exactly what it is. You've got to heal from this. This is someone coming, somebody with a little money, not a lot. Somebody with love, or so it appears. But you've got to heal yourself from this. Just when you thought you were doing good, somebody comes back to throw salt in the wound. So just when we think that the wound is fully healed, kind of isn't. Reason being, karmic soulmate. What a very, very strong soulmate connection and the nightmare card, karmic soulmate. Someone who's caused you a lot of hurt. Am I saying that you're totally innocent? No, nobody's totally innocent. It takes two to dance. Six of Swords, rowing away from it again. So, Scorp, I've been reading this for a while about this blessings. And then the blessings come in and then you take a step back. Somebody comes along, you take a step back. So, maybe you get this money that you're expecting. Maybe you get this windfall that you're not expecting. And you might take a trip back into the past with it. And some people do that. Well, I'm doing really, really good. And I think I'll get all dressed up. And I'm going to go and frequent the haunt where we used to hang. And they can look upon me. Well, they'll look upon you. And this is someone that wants equal give and take. They will look upon you and they'll want to come. You're being warned here. You walked away from it. Now you're doing good. Now you're going back in to show yourself. Now they want to come back. They see you. They say, oh, look at Scorpio. Holy crap. But your thoughts haven't changed. Your thoughts are still deceptive. But you don't see that because I think maybe there's a Scorpio here that wants to show themselves off. It's ego creeping in. And there's the fight. There's the imbalance. And there's the weight again. The heaviness, the worry, the nine or the ten wands upon the back, the beast of burden, carrying all the weight and the baggage and the bullshit that you just came out of. Now, we know that there's not full healing here because if there was full healing, you wouldn't want to go back and show yourself. Look what has become of me. 
I'm rich. Look at my clothing. Look how well established I am. This is not for everybody, but there is a Scorpio out there. Spirit picks up your energy. Take your loving ideas with the King of Love here, King Neptune himself, this great emotion and love, and the Empress, full of ideas. Take these loving ideas that you have and put them elsewhere, Scorpio. Go into the future, not into the past. It's just a game. It's time to end this and move on for a new start. If you've already gotten a new start, definitely karmic. So I feel like I'm healed. I feel good. I'm all right. End this for a new start. And you get this blessing, whatever you've been waiting for. And you just got to go back. You got to go back and show it. Look how healed I am. And stand in there in all your glory as a great goddess of Venus or the great god Adonis. But there's no healing here or else you wouldn't want to go back anyway. But you do. You want to go back. But nothing's changed. Maybe things have changed for you with the blessings. But the old mindset's still there. The wound hasn't totally healed. So don't go back. Make the decision. This is karmic. I got to let this go. I got to stop wanting to go back. Stop hanging around the old haunt. See if I can see them. So they can look upon me. That's what I got. Quite a reading. But it's what I got. And it's <laughs> got to go with what I get. Scorpio. Holy. So who do we have? Libra. 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 Aries. Pisces, Libra again, Gemini, Virgo, Aries again, Taurus, Aries again. Okay. Unless you know the basic mechanics behind the workings of the ego. You want to recognize it. And it will trick you into identifying with it again and again. This means it takes you over, an imposter pretending to be you. Look at me. Look what I have done. Scorpio. Holy crap. Namaste. Namaste.